Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Aries. Aries, this is your weekly general reading for the 13th through the 19th of May, 2019. I'm using the Psychic Tarot, and we have Triumph coming up here. Very nice energy. That's very positive. There's victory and success coming through here. All right. I'm also using a new uh, Oracle deck, Aries. This is the Goddess Power Oracle. And I will also be pulling from the Energy Oracle, and I will be doing your tarot reading with the Druid Craft Tarot. We have Rebirth coming out here. Beautiful energy. Beautiful energy, you guys. Very positive. All right. And as always, Aries, I will be pulling a positive uh, affirmation thought card at the end of your reading. We have Door to Spirit. Beautiful, you guys. All right. Give me just a moment, Aries, to get your cards shuffled. I know you guys hate it when I drop the cards. I'm so sorry, but these are very big cards. Thank you, Spirit. What does Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs need to know this week? Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. And we are ready. All right, Aries. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we have the world coming out as the situation of the week. We have the Five of Swords coming in here as your crossing energy. We have your energy. Aries, the Lord coming in here in your foundation. We have the Feralit coming in as the recent past. Queen of Cups is crowning you. Six of Cups is your new circumstance. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Prince of Cups. All right. Let me see here. All right. All right, Aries. Let's take a look at your psychic tarot and your oracles. We have triumph coming up here. I feel like you're really, you know, taking back some type of power and control over your situation or your life. You're grabbing the wheel and you're, you're moving ahead. And you're doing it successfully. Uh, this is the energy of knowing where you're going, all right? And being very happy and moving, you know, forward in your life. This is victory. This is success, triumph. So a very powerful energy right there. Now we have Isis, rebirth coming through here. So right now you may be transitioning um, and going through a major transformation transformation and closing out uh you know a chapter of your life to start a new beginning uh with something new this is going to be different for everyone but there's definitely something ending and something beginning here uh this rebirth is all about transformation and it's beautiful and i feel like you're being divinely guided as well you have spirit and you have your spirit guides and your angels uh, working behind the scenes for you, Aries. Door to spirit. And number 32 is a very powerful number uh, that may mean something to uh, some of you. Now, door to spirit is all about uh, you walking through that door and the door is now being opened for you. Some of you may be... Um, receiving spiritual downloads um maybe uh having information coming in through your dreams maybe symbolism synchronicities uh pay close attention to uh, your surroundings and i feel like there's nuggets of information all around you from spirit 
right now. I feel like you're just, you're having downloads, all right? And I feel like spirit is all around you, Aries, helping you. Uh, you may not even be aware of it, but spirit's right there. Your angels are right there. You have that di divine pure white light wrapped all around you, you guys. Now, we do have the Prince of Cups coming in here as the overall energy. The Prince of Cups can represent Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. This could be a, a romantic offer that you're extending to someone else, or maybe someone's offering you their cup of love. I feel like for many of you, this is an opportunity that is coming in. Um, I, I feel like this is, you know, I, I feel like this is a, a card more about your intuition, your uh, sensitivity, um, you being offered uh, something from someone else. It's an opportunity coming in for you. You could be extending an, an offer or an opportunity to someone else. Because you do have this uh, leadership, leadership type energy coming through. Especially with your energy being down here. So you could be a boss. Uh, or somebody that's over people. Or you may you know, be able to offer help to someone. But I most of all feel like this is an opportunity coming in for you. This is a blessing. So, it, that it, you know, and for, like I said, for some of you, this could be a romantic offer. But I feel like for the majority, this is an opportunity coming your way, Aries. Now, the situation of the week is the world. Um, like I said, you're, you're having a new beginning that's taking place. You're closing a chapter in your life. This is all about you um, starting a new journey. And there's a completion here, the ending of something. Uh, this is, you know, letting go of the old and bringing in the new. You know, that, that type of energy. Starting a new chapter in your life. And there's fulfillment in this. This is a victory and success card as well. This is telling me that you've used all the tools that has been available to you, Aries, to be able to complete this this chapter and start a new one and this start this transition into this rebirth, this transformation that's taking place in your life. This most definitely for some of you could be a complete spiritual experience that's that's going on in your life. Uh, the presence of of you know the divine spirit and you now like having some type of intuition or uh, clear vision of what's taking place behind the scenes for you. Um, you could be seeing it. This could be a new beginning in that. For others of you, I feel like this is definitely going on. But whether you can see it or not, this is a, a major transitioning that's taking place in your life. And starting this new cycle, this new beginning... And you're doing it successfully. Now what's interesting, Aries, is we have the Five of Swords coming in here as you're crossing energy. A lot of times the Five of Swords can be a positive or it can be a challenge. I'm looking at this as a challenge right now in your situation, Aries. The Five of Swords represents conflicting interest, um, a hollow victory, um, you know, people... Maybe having uh, arguments, fighting. Um, what I feel like with this, I feel like not everybody is on the same page as you, Aries. You may have some people that are angry that you're having this new beginning. You're having this success. Uh, and I feel like they just want to keep you down on their level. And, you know, it's up to you how you want to choose to use your energy if you want to waste your your energy that you hold within yourself by arguing with whoever this is or these people or, uh, you know, letting them drag you down to their level or uh, taking a step back and maybe, uh, you know, going in a, I feel like there's a need to do maybe a little bit of introspection here before you act. You know, it's kind of like choose your battles wisely, you guys. Because people that are vibrating on a lower level, they want everybody else to be vibrating on that level. 
So, but sometimes things need to be said. Uh, sometimes things need to be, uh, the truth needs to be had. So, if that's the case, but only you are, you know, know what that is to you or what that means to you. Now, in your foundation, we have the Lord coming through here. Aries, this is you. This is your energy. This is uh, authority type energy. This is power. This is asserting yourself, starting new projects, starting this new beginning. Stability and security. This is what's driving you and you're in your own energy through this to move you forward. So very powerful right there. Now we come to your recent past and we have the Feralit. This is the energy of Sagittarius. The Feralit is all about balanced relationships, um, believing in yourself, having self-belief, uh, making adjustments where, uh, you know, things need to be adjusted in your life. This could be spiritual. This could be, uh, you know, whatever it is that you're moving forward on with this new beginning as well. But that's very positive, and it's also a spiritual alchemical uh, card as well. So, very nice. It's telling me that you have the self-confidence and the self-belief in yourself. And you know that you're, you're going to start this new beginning. And you're going to be able to transition into this transformation because you are, you're having patience with yourself. You're, you're listening to your intuition. And you're taking a step back when need be, especially when situations like this arise, right? So, very positive. Now we come to the Queen of Cups. This is what's crowning you. This is Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. The Queen of Cups is somebody that is very, she, a lot of empathy, all right, compassionate. Uh, this is you listening to your intuition, I feel like. This is you um, you know, you have this fire and this passion and this power and control, but this is also you listening to spirit and the divine, I feel like, allowing that psychic energy to flow through you and with you, going with the ebb and flow, and just being, and I feel like that is what's helping move you forward with this rebirth and with this success and this triumph that's taking place in your life, Aries. So, very positive energies. This is this alchemical process where you are mixing water and fire and, you know, getting the outcome that you truly want and you desire. Now, we have the Six of Cups coming up here as the new circumstance. The Six of Cups is the feeling of nostalgia. Uh, this can be memories uh, from your past or your childhood. This can represent somebody from your past coming back, maybe. This can also represent... Needing to be a little bit uh, playful, um, allowing your inner child to shine, not being so serious. So if you've been feeling like you've had to be serious or you haven't been able to allow that, that inner child shine, Aries, be sure to allow that to take place. Because whenever you allow your inner child to come out and play, new opportunities and blessings are allowed to be uh, just you know, an abundance of it showered upon you because it's, uh, it's uh, like showing appreciation, you know, um, you know, having appreciation for what it is that you've achieved or, or how far you've come. If that makes, if you understand what I mean, if that makes sense. I don't know if I'm making sense right now. It's making sense to me, but I don't know if I'm making sense to anybody else. So, I'm sorry. Just uh, be playful. Allow your inner child to shine, Aries. That's what I'm trying to say. Because it opens up bigger and better possibilities for you in your situation. Now, we have I Love Life. It is my birthright to live fully and freely. I give to life exactly what I want life to give to me. I am glad to be alive. I love life. What a beautiful message. All right, Aries, I love you guys. Please leave me a comment. I read all of them. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Aries.